Guys, we are back with a head-to-head, -head, and this time we are going big once again with potentially the greatest of all times, Adrenus Aviscus, versus the most winning World's Strongest Man competitor of all time, the Polish sensation, the dominator, Marius Pudzianowski. Who comes out on top? Lizzie, give us the facts. Okay, first off, a quick reminder of the rules. We're gonna go through their competition history where they were head to head against each other. So full events, not single events, not that they really happened back then anyway, to be fair. And you, as we go along, you're gonna guess who came out on top in each contest. This is gonna be a hard one. It is gonna be a hard one. Yeah. Like, we're gonna to have to go quite far back. I we guess. are going quite far back. So we're going back 21 years to the year 2000. Now this was actually Marius's- Is it that long ago? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know it's scary, isn't it? <laughs> this was Marius's first year competing, I think, all together, let alone just at an international level. And they first met in World's Strongest Man when they were put in heat five together. Now, Zodrinus had been competing infrequently since 1996. So he was a bit more experienced than Marius at this point. Is this back when, I, I can't remember exactly, but was Phil Fister in this group as well? Yes, he was. I, well uh, done. Yeah, what, a, what yeah. a heat to be in. Yeah. So many amazing strong men. Uh, 2000 World's Strongest Man, I'm going to pick Marius Beats Zadrinus. Yeah, and you're right. Do you know where Zadrinus placed in that heat? Third? Yeah, and who do you think got in between them? Phil Fister. Very good, well done. <laughs> and obviously he went on to win the World's Strongest Man in 2006, so in hindsight it was a completely stacked group. That was a, yeah, when you look back that was one hell of a group. Mm. Right, good start Lozzie, well done. Breaking you in gently. Gently, yeah. Big competition, you should remember. <laughs> yes, there's going to be a few that I haven't got a clue with these two. Can you remember how Marius did in the final in the year 2000? He did pretty well, I think. Did he come fourth? Yeah, he did. Yeah. No, that's not bad. It's and not then bad at all. He missed out on 2001. We won't go into the reasons why. He was in prison. But in 2002, he came back, and that was when we saw the start of the, the dominating era of Marius Pudzianowski. But anyway... I'm getting ahead of myself, I apologise. <laughs> Give me my din. So as you already said, Marius missed 2001 for personal reasons. Now in 2002, the next time Zadrinus and Marius were up against each other was at Europe's Strongest Man. How do you think they both did? Back then, Europe's Strongest Man tended to be in Poland yeah. and Marius dominated it, so Marius Pudzianowski winning. Yeah, he did win. He took first place and Zadrinus was seventh. Marius absolutely dominated it. He took 59 out of a potential 60 points. He dropped one point in the whole competition. Yeah, Marius at this time was the best in the world. Right. I know we sort of, we have these conversations about who's the greatest of all time. There was a time when Marius was almost unbeatable. I mean, he, he, particularly at the big shows yeah. and, and even more so in Poland. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I, I mean, there was a disproportionately high amount of Polish athletes who didn't really do anything else except when it was in Poland, Europe's Strongest Man, they were... I, I, have, been, I have competed in Poland and I have seen how things work in Poland. And now Maybe not there's, now. There's, we're not <laughs> I, I've seen... Certain athletes have to use one car, certain other athletes have to use another car, certain athletes have to use a set of stones, certain other athletes have to use another set of stones. That was back in the day, I'm sure things are much different now, but I'm just saying what I have seen in person. <laughs> That's not to take anything away from Marius. No, Marius, no, Marius in World's Strongest yeah. Man and all the other shows was still an absolute animal. Yeah. Next then, the 2002 World's Strongest Man final. Both in the final. <laughs> Marius Pudzianowski winning his, winning, winning his first World Strongest Man title. Yeah. And do you remember where Zydrinus came? Was he second? He was second, yeah. yeah. But Marius beat him by eight points, so yeah. it was a fairly comfortable win. Yeah. Next then is the 2002 Sweden Grand Prix, which was part of the Strongman Super Series. I used to love watching the Super Series mm -hmm. shows. Can't remember who. I'm, I'm guessing if it was in Sweden, Magnus Samuelsson won, um, and I, I would say Marius beats Zadrinus again. No, actually, this is Zadrinus's first time Ooh, beating Marius. Interesting. So Zadrinus came third. Marius was fifth. Okay. And you were wrong about the other bit as well. It was won by Hugo Girard. Okay, Hugo. Well, Hugo was great at this time as well, and I'm going to guess that Magnus didn't compete in that show then because Magnus never lost in Sweden. Oh, well, I don't know about that off the top of my head. My <laughs> research doesn't go that deep. 
Next was the 2002 Hawaii Grand Prix. How nice, in Honolulu. <laughs> Yes, Hawaii, what a place to compete. Yeah. How come I've never been invited to compete in Hawaii? I know, right? That's, that's where we need to be going. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, this uh, I'm going to go Marius. Marius Pujanowski ahead of Zadrinus. And you would be wrong again. Zadrinus. Really? Yeah, second place and Marius was third. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Because I believe, and you're going to ask me this question, the very next competition is back in Hawaii for the 2003 Super Series. Am I correct? You are. <laughs> but who do you think won the 2002 one? Hugo Girard. Yes, well done. And the 2003, I have the whole box set of 2003 on DVD. Uh, okay. And I knew that they did them back to back on one day and then the next day. That's right. So the 2003 was like, that was <laughs> the start of the 2003 season. Yeah. Was um, also in Hawaii uh, the very next day after that show. <laughs> and Marius won that show. You were correct, well done. <laughs> Marius plays first and Zadrinus was... Oh, third? Yes, very good, Lasso. Very good. Hugo second? Oh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't push it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Next was the 2003 Arnold Strongman Classic, which at the time was called the Arnold Strength Summit. It's actually gone through a couple of weird name changes. Um, the first time these two guys did it, because obviously the first year, 2002, was won by Mark Henry, but neither Marius or Zadrinus were in it, but they were both in the following year. How did they do? Zadrinus comes out on top. Zadrinus at the Arnold's unbelievable. When it's really heavy, Zadrinus comes out on top. Care to guess how Marius did? Fourth? Yeah, very good. Well done. Next was the 2003 World Muscle Power Classic. Ooh. It was a two-day competition held in Canada. Maybe Zadrinus takes this one. I might, uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember watching the event, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess Zadrinus. Maybe yes, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, Magnus. Uh, no, uh, not Magnus. <laughs> It was Marius. Marius, well, he didn't win the competition. He came second. Hugo Girard winning? I think so. It was, <laughs> Marius came second. Okay. And Zodrinus was fifth. I'm disappointed you don't know the winner, but. I'm sorry. I'm, I can't I, I, I'm, possibly I be expected to know everything. <laughs> Next is the 2003 Holland Grand Prix. 2003 Holland, was this a Super Series? Yes, part of the Super Series. Uh, Marius Pujanowski, again, remember watching this one. And he was dominant in the Super Series in 2003. Yeah, Marius took first place and Zadrinus was in second. So we are back in Poland for Europe's Strongest Man 2003. The Dominator wins again, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, he does, and Zadrinus plays fourth. 2003 Canada Grand Prix. 2003 Canada Grand Prix, the winner is Hugo Girard. Yes. And I think Marius Pujanowski comes out on top, out of him and Zadrinus. That's right. Marius was second and Zadrinus was fourth. Okay. I like that competition and Hugo was awesome in that show. Hugo was hard to beat in he the He was a great strongman. He really was. Especially one the, in the one day shows. Yeah. One of the best not to win worlds, but worlds Definitely. just didn't suit him in the same mm. way, did it? Then we've got the 2003 Finland Grand Prix. <laughs> Do you remember that one? Not as clearly, but I'm going to say Marius. So Marius placed second. Zadrinus, he was seventh overall, but he had to withdraw with an injury. Okay. Who do you think won in Finland? Sven. Hugo Girard. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hugo is good. Hugo is very good. Yeah. I know this isn't a Hugo video, but we should appreciate how good <laughs> yeah. Hugo was. <laughs> Especially at this time. Yeah. Next is an interesting one. It's the 2003 IFSA Strongman World Record Breakers. Now, it was a full competition. It was held over two days, nine events. I haven't got a clue, but I'm going to say Marius. Yeah, Marius took first place in this competition, and Zadrinus, unfortunately, had to withdraw after the first event with an injury, so he placed eighth overall. I know you'll remember this one. The 2003 World Strongest Man Final. Yeah, 2003 was a great year for Marius. 2003 World Strongest Man, Marius was, I think it's the most dominant victory ever in terms of points. He beat second place, which was Sidrinus, by 20 clear points. Yeah, it was just such a, a dominating performance. Um, uh, he really was. 2003, that World Strongest Man, he was the best in the world. There was no question. 2004, we're now back to the Arnold's, but this year it was called Arnold's Strongest Man. <laughs> Can you remember? 
Arnold's Strongest Man 2004 was Adrenus Viscus. Yeah. So Adrenus starting to show that when it comes to the heavy shows, he's the man. And where do you think Marius placed? Fifth. Yeah, very good, Lazo. Well done. Hmm. The 2004 World Muscle Power Classic. <laughs> um, Hugo <laughs> winning. Um, yeah, he did. <laughs> Marius Pajanowski coming out on top again? No. Oh. <laughs> no, Zadrinus was third and Marius was fourth. Okay. But yeah, Hugo taking a win again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next was the Holland Champions Trophy. I feel like these names are becoming more and more obscure. <laughs> <laughs> the Holland Champions Trophy, I'm going to say Marius Pajanowski. He did, yeah. He won the overall competition and Zadrinus was... Second? Third. Third. Uh, close enough. <laughs> Next is the 2004 Moscow Grand Prix. I think this is where Raymond Bergmanis broke the log record. Mm. I'm going to guess that Marius wins the overall. Yeah, Marius does, and Sadrinus was in second. Mm. It was only 0 0.5 points in it, though, mm. so Close very small one. margin, yeah. This kind of time... The results started getting a lot closer between the two of them. It's really weird when you look at their careers because Marius came in in 2000 and was brilliant straight away. I'm sure it's okay to say, spent a year in prison and didn't drop. Like, like He was training it, hard. It didn't set him back at all. He comes back the next year. He wins World's Strongest Man. His timeline is very different to Zadrinus's where it took him... I don't know, 12 years to peak. It's yeah. You see that with different, different athletes. Some people yeah. much, much quicker. Other athletes take a lot longer. But yeah. it's always interesting to, to compare those timelines and see who ends up doing better in the long run. Yeah. Then we have the 2004 IFSA All Strength Challenge. Can't remember this one. I'll take a wild guess at Zadrinus. No, it was Marius again. So first place to Marius and fourth for Zadrinus. There we go. People said like 2021 was a busy year. Well, 2003, 2004, yeah. 2002 as well. I know they had a lot of competitions back then. Yeah, just obviously we didn't have social media, mm. so people didn't really know about it a yeah. lot of the time, unless you were a real diehard fan. 2004 Europe's Strongest Man. I should point out it's still in Poland. <laughs> I should point out Marius Pudzianowski wins it. Yeah. <laughs> and where does uh, Zadrinus come? I don't know. He comes third. Okay. Do you know who was second? Jarek Dimmick. No, <laughs> he, although he usually was. <laughs> this year it was Thomas Notywak, not 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 <laughs> a know. Polish guy. Okay, sorry, I don't know. No, that's fine. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> it's a big head to head between these two. There's a lot of contests. Yeah, there is. Now, the next one is a controversial one. It's the 2004 World Strongest Man Finals. Now, they held it differently this year the qualification process was bizarre there were all these head-to-heads and stuff a very different scoring system which led to six guys qualifying for i don't even know if you can call it the final the last part of the competition who came out on top there lasse vasil verastiuk yeah zadrinus was second yeah at the time marius was third yeah but magnus samuelson got bumped up to third afterwards wow Maris was actually disqualified and put down to sixth place, so sixth everyone place. was bumped. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, he, yeah, he was put he down was, to last. He was disqualified. He was yes. disqualified from the comp. He yeah. came last in the overall last well, he, day. He's kind of just disqualified from it. You yeah. don't come last, you're just disqualified. You're out but, of it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, his points were good for third place, so he would have placed behind Zadrinus anyway, but he was out. Yes, but Zadrinus beat him regardless. <laughs> yes, he did. That was the point I was trying to make. <laughs> Probably should have just got to that. I know, but <laughs> I like to talk in riddles. <laughs> so yeah, this was a time where Marius was starting to get beat by the likes of Vasil and Zadrinus. A couple of other guys as well. Yeah. Like closing the gap. But this was also the time of the IFSA split. And us fans were robbed of seeing all of the athletes compete together until five years later. Yeah. Five years! That is shocking. No, the, the, yeah, the, this is when the split happened. Yeah. And, you know, five years of not being able to see the top guys go head to head, that's disappointing. Yeah. And it, it, it does rob the fans and the athletes of really knowing who was the best at the time. Now, one place we did still get to see all the top athletes together was the Arnold Strongman Classic, where they, Marius and Zadrinus, both competed in 2006. 
That was their next competition. And Drunus comes out on top. Yes, he does. So and Marius was... Fifth? Sixth. Sixth. Yeah. So Drunus really kicked ass in this competition as well. He beats second place, which was uh, Vassil, by 8.5 points, which in the Arnolds, which doesn't have that many events, is quite a big margin. It's usually a much closer competition, but the Drunus really dominated that year. And finally, they were back together in 2009. Ifsa was done. <laughs> Everyone was back at World's Strongest Man and... It was a big deal at the time, wasn't it? Having everyone come back over. So 2009, World's Strongest Man final, who came out on top? The 2009 World's Strongest Man final is is hell of a battle, mm. hell, hell of a lineup as well. Um, and Zadrinus comes out on top, yeah. taking the win, Marius in second place. Yeah, his first World's Strongest Man win. Obviously, he'd won two world titles over in Ipsa, yeah. but this... It was the one, wasn't it? It was the, it was the one, one he everyone. was missing. He needed yeah. to win it. And that was it. Marius never competed again. <laughs> yeah. He so went over to MMA. What, so what's the final result? Marius, pretty dominant then. Yeah. So it was 15-8 to Marius overall. It was it was dominated. You know, Marius was an excellent strongman. And I've got a few more stats as well. In his time competing, which was just nine years, he did 60 international competitions and he won 42 of them. Wow. Which is 70%. That's, that's an incredible percentage. 70. And, and an incredible amount of international wins. Uh, you know, this, this was the time I sort of really was getting into the sport yeah. and just used to love watching Marius at the time, particularly... I, I, is it traditional? I don't know. At the time, there was a lot of mobi mobility events. Yeah. And, you know, power stairs. He that was is unbelievable. Traditional yeah. Carrying events. He yeah. was amazing at carrying shields or mm. stones, power cone stairs. and circles. You know, and his, his ability to rep things out when it was a little bit lighter was unbelievable. The only sticking point, I guess, was when it got really heavy at something like the Arnold's. He didn't quite have that top end strength. Yeah. But Marius was an incredible athlete. Probably doesn't get the, the recognition he deserves as being one of the best of all time. He certainly is. Mm. I think, you know, guys like Brian Shaw, Zadrinus went on to do so much more after Marius retired. Yeah. I think if, if they both finished at the same time, you've got to say Marius is the best. Yeah. But it's Zadrinus, if you think Marius and him, their last competition was 2009. That was just when Zadrinus was coming into he his He won peak. his first world. Yeah. Zadrinus winning a, you know, a Masters world title this year, yeah. still competing. He's had such a long career, and I guess that's why you think of the things he's won since they stopped that rivalry. Yeah. That's probably why a lot of people, myself included, have Zadrinus as, as the greatest. But Marius deserves his respect. At the time, he yeah. was incredible, particularly the 2003 season. Yeah, and Marius retiring didn't mean Z got an easy ride of it, because then suddenly along comes Brian Bloody Shaw. <laughs> oh, Derek Poundstone, yeah. Brian Shaw... Half Thor, Eddie, you know, yeah. then the likes of Kiliuszkowski, you know, Lysis, been so many amazing competitors. So many eras that Zadrinus has competed against when you think he started in the mid 90s. Magnus Ver, he's yeah. competed against. Yeah, you know? that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zadrinus has literally competed against almost everyone. There's only like a few of the, the really older legends that he's yeah. not been able to go against. That's an amazing career, but. Marius Pujanowski, what a what a head-to-head -head record. So to give you the stats on Zadrinus as well, so far he has had a 25-year career. He's done 140 international competitions and he has won 76 of them, which is lower than Marius's win ratio. It's 54.2%. But that's like <laughs> it's still pretty 76 incredible. Seventy six international competitions over a twenty five year time frame. Absolutely insane. It's unbelievable. And that's, I mean, his career is actually longer than that. We're talking international, you know, international shows. level. Yeah. So that's that's pretty incredible. No one else has a career that compares to his. Like no one's career is like it in terms of length records victories. The amount of competitions he was doing all the time every year. Yeah. Also, there we have it. Two of the greatest of all time. Marius ahead when it comes to the head-to-head. -head, but we all know what Zadrinus went on to do. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Let us know who else you want to see head-to-heads with. We have a good number coming up. Maybe include myself in a few of them. Maybe. If um, people really want to see that. But I think we should. I think it'll be fun. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> this one between Marius Pujanowski, the Dominator, and Big Z Zadrinus Saviscus. He never had a nickname, did he? Big Z. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content. <laughs>